All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good wherever the fuck you are in the world. Let's get down to a little bit of business. All right, so let's talk 10 minutes, right? 10 minutes, let's talk 10 minute walks. I don't know how she knew, how would you know? Wait, what? I'm gonna talk about 10 minute walks, how did you know? I didn't know. She didn't even know, she just screamed 10 minutes for no goddamn reason. What a little smarty pants, maybe she's psychic. So. Oh. Yeah, she's got 10 minutes left until bed, and I'm going to talk 10 minute walks. I was going to. Well, yeah, it's evening now, everybody. Just, no, I just did it. Sorry, you missed, you missed out on the fun. So let's talk. What's up, Code? Awesome. So let's. No, A's. Watch your show. Get ready for bed. All right, so let's try this again. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good wherever the fuck you are in the world. We're going to talk, as Aizen said, 10 minutes, but not just any 10 minute, 10 minute walks. So let's talk about why I do 10 minute walks. I do 10 minute walks because I am fat and I am lazy. <laughs> I'm thick and I'm lazy. I hate doing like a full like 30, 40 minutes of cardio, so I would actually rather break it up into 10 minute walks because that seems to suit me better. So I like to get them in after breakfast, um, after lunch, I'll usually just walk around um, the warehouse for a little bit and after dinner um, I'm lucky enough to have a treadmill in my basement But the nice thing is is you don't even have to use a treadmill man You can just hop on a little bike and go for a ride for 10 minutes You can walk up and down the street you can use an elliptical you can use a rowing machine You can use whatever it takes to get in your 10 minutes of activity to help you it'll help anybody 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 who wants to utilize them it will help so, besides me being fat and lazy, um, I like to use it to increase hunger too. So, if you're in like a bulking phase, if you don't want to do a whole bunch of bulking phase or lean gains or a maintenance or whatever you're doing, if you don't want to do a full thing of cardio, you can just uh, 10 minute walks after your meals. I try to do them after my meals. It doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes I get busy, and but I try and make sure I at least get in three minutes or three minutes, three times 10 minutes and uh, yeah. Yeah, um, you can also, what I like to do sometimes is if I have a lot of cleaning to do is I'll just be like, put my head down and grind for 10 minutes and get as much done as I can and just fly through this house and just clean, 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 clean. Um, I'm, like I said though, I'm fortunate enough to have a treadmill in my basement. Not everybody is, but you can walk up and down your, even like walk up and down your stairs if you live in an apartment building, go for a walk around your block, do whatever you need to do. Um, Oh, there we go. I'm holding my phone because I'm an idiot and didn't put it down. So, yes, I like to use it to increase my hunger. I also like it for, um, I, I guess, active rest days, it, especially if you train legs to get your legs moving so that they heal a little bit faster. You swing around some nutrients to the legs, uh, what you've eaten during the day, and get it in there. If you're going to do that for legs, though, the best thing to do is either bike at elliptical, bike elliptical, Jesus, see I'm broken some days. Bike, bike, stationary bike, bike ride or elliptical are good to move uh, nutrients around to the legs and stuff like that, help them heal faster. Uh, I have a knee problem so um, I don't run, I walk. So the 10 minute walks are great because of my messed up knee. So if you have a messed up knee, that can help you too. What else? So yeah, it helps partition nutrients. So that's a big thing. So instead of it sitting around in your gut and then sitting around floating around in your bloodstream, not being used or whatever happens there, it actually helps push nutrients around your body and help partition some of it so it's not just sitting around. What are you hopping and puffing at me for? What? I can't hear you, you need to speak up. Oh, she's not hopping and puffing at me anyways. So anyways, yeah, good for partitioning nutrients around the body. Um, sometimes instead of a 10 minute walk, I will actually utilize some feeder sets and uh, to get a nice low squeeze and get the nutrients in the muscles that I had just trained. I'm not really doing that right now, but that's always a good thing. Uh, especially like if you don't like doing cardio, that's actually a nice fun thing to do is a feeder set for 10 minutes. Just kind of get, get moving, get pumping and get going. Um, uh, it can, help with diabetes I don't know how to phrase that so it can help if you're diabetic so you can have um, a little bit more of what you like sorry I'm cooking some food for tomorrow so you can have a little bit more of what you like and then um, help shuttle some of the carbohydrates and nutrients around so they're not just 
sitting being wasted and if you're diabetic that's a good thing is to kind of get up get moving and get active same with if you're um severely overweight or obese or whatever you want to call it super thick as we say in this house because we're all a little super thick right ace it helps <laughs> it helps get you moving and if you're not used to um not used to a lot of physical activity then it can actually help with your obesity or your super thick or whatever you want to call it to um yeah just just to kind of help sorry i'm not very good at this and i told you i'd start shooting more videos that were a little bit longer and a little bit more nonsensical but this may be a little nonsensical until i get used to shooting longer videos so yeah so if you're super thick or super overweight it's good just get yourself moving and it's easy on the joints so even like if you can get a stationary bike that's even easier on your joints than using a treadmill or an elliptical but uh the 10 minute walks are definitely better than trying to run for 10 minutes um if you're he top heavy then it's going to be a little bit harder on your joints and on all that other stuff so yeah so the 10 minute walk is good for that um it's also kind of convenient so i can get up in the morning i can eat my food and i can go do a 10 minute walk instead of trying to get up in the morning eat a meal do cardio for half an hour 40 minutes that i can just hop on the treadmill just coming for me i can just hop on the treadmill and do my walk or i can um, go outside and just walk up and down the street with the kids if they're down for doing it after dinner um yeah so i love 10 minute walks i stole them from stan efforting 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 i don't know how to pronounce the name i'm horrible names and uh mark bell uses them a lot i don't know if anybody watches mark bell from the power project but he's very big on utilizing 10 minute walks um the kind of just yeah just get things moving get nutrients partitioned i think that's the right word um, i'm not very good with big words my brain broke some days <laughs> so yeah so especially if you're having a high carb meal it's good to just kind of move that shit around instead of just sitting around on your big bum apparently it's supposed to be um better than metformin the uh, diabetic drug the diabetic drug the diabetes drug to help people who are diabetic i think that helps partition um nutrients and carbs so that they're not just floating around the bloodstream unused and shooting your insulin levels way up it kind of helps keep them steady and balanced so yeah so 10 minute walks i really would agree with um i'm not quite sure what i'm sure there's lots of benefits to them a shit ton of benefits to them but uh yeah so if you're super lazy and you don't like cardio uh utilize 10 minute walks they're fantastic uh if you have trouble with high, oh high blood pressure is another thing if uh, you have high blood pressure the 10 minute walks will help because they'll help you drop a little bit of weight unless you're looking to gain weight and then you can kind of utilize them just to increase your appetite along with ooh, a nice trick if you're trying to increase your appetite is eat one dorito an hour before and you know i steal everybody's stuff eat one dorito one hour before your meal and you will be hungry as shit when you go to eat next time i mean hungry because nobody can just eat one chip so you eat just one chip and then you make yourself starve for that hour or half an hour, whatever it is. And then you can feed your face a little bit more. Feed your face a little more. <laughs> Sorry. I say funny things. Ooh, creepy shell. So yeah, so um, that's kind of why I do my 10 minute walks because I hate cardio. Basically just hate cardio. I don't want to do it. Um, I'd put it off and put it off, but this makes it a little bit easier for me to get in at least some active rest, active rest or nutrient partition or if I'm going around in circles just saying the same thing over and over again, I'm sorry, but I'm trying. So it would probably help if I like, well, maybe I'll get the whiteboard out someday and we'll get the whiteboard in behind me. And we'll, uh, I'll go through some points. Maybe when I go over my meals, I'll do that. So yeah, so 10 minute walks, steal them from Stan Efferding. They are freaking amazing. You can go watch his videos. He does um, Rhino Rants or, man, I'm bad with names. Rhino Rants or where he talks about 10 minute walks and why they're really important but i basically use them because i'm fucking lazy and it helps me eat more so yeah so this is why i use my 10 minute walks this is maybe why you should use 10 minute walk especially if you super thick like us right ace we super thick right she's just glaring at me she's not in a very good mood she got a little bit upset because she swore earlier but i wasn't really upset with her because kids make mistakes so yeah you weren't upset so yeah so use your 10 minute walks three times a day if you can after does it oh 
So use your 10 minute walks after your meals if you can, at least three times a day if you can get them in. You can do more if you want. Um, I wouldn't really go any less than that. Uh, I do some days when I'm super busy, but I always at least try and get in too after breakfast and after dinner. And then I can just kind of, well, I work a strenuous job anyway, so I can just kind of go so like straight back to work or I can just wander around out in the parking lot or in the warehouse. But yeah, thank you for tuning in about 10 minute walks. Story is kind of rambly jambly and rumbly and like my tumbly all the time. And uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Y'all have a great day, great evening, great night. Where the fuck you are in the world, you enjoy yourself. Get your 10 minute walk, get a little bit healthier. And maybe stop being a little so thick, unless it's that good thick with two C's. I'm Audi. Peace.